Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show a little um, mill engine that I built many years ago. Um, let's see. I built it back in 1989. It has a 3/8 inch bore and a 3/8 inch stroke, and it's a double acting engine with a uh, typical slide valve. This is the steam chest right here. The cylinder and uh, the piston. Uh, most of the parts are made out of brass. The flywheel is it's got quite a large flywheel here. The flywheel is made out of uh, a disc of stainless steel cut from a stainless steel shaft. Um, the crankshaft is made from drill rod as I recall. It has uh, this type of crosshead right here where the, uh, the crosshead slides between uh, these, these brass rails. And it has a Stevenson link reversing gear on it. So that, that puts the engine into reverse. The boiler is made from uh, hard copper, inch and a quarter copper. It has a steam dome, smoke box, and a large single flue that goes through the center of the boiler. The steam line comes off the steam dome and goes across um, down the smokestack through the smoke box and uh, into the steam chest at this point right here. And the exhaust steam is huh, where is the exhaust steam? I think it comes right up and uh, sprays right back up into the steam box. As I say, it's been quite a while since I built this engine and a very long time since I've run it. Um, it's a, called the locomotive style boiler. And um, I, I drew up the plans from a picture. I thought it was a cool looking engine. So I kind of scaled it out and um, Drew up a plan for it. Uh, the problem is it, it has a, a relatively small um, firebox right here. And so it um, my intent was that I would put a little box of sterno in here, but that doesn't provide enough heat to uh, to maintain a good head of steam, and so the engine will will slow down and uh, eventually stop. So I'm going to try to run it with a little torch today that'll add um, more heat than, than the sternal would and uh, we'll see what happens. That'd be enough water to run it for just a, a long enough to make a short video.
While the boiler is heating up, I'll try to move the camera in closer for some close-up shots. There you can see the Stevenson link. And there's just a little lever right here that that switches that. When the steam line gets hot, you know it's close to starting. This engine has a, a cast base. I, I think it's cast out of bronze. And painted red.
Okay, that's about all there is to show. Um, probably, I've probably run it long enough, so thanks for watching.